Uh, last 20, 25 years, uh, a lot of change has taken place. Uh, and all that is related to internet, right? Uh, if you uh, see what is happening today, you have internet almost available anywhere because of at least mobile phones. The cellular networks also offer you 2G, 3G services. There is uh, 4G being launched in this country also. In, in some places it is already there. The, and internationally there are talks of 5G rollout uh, and so on. Uh, almost 90% of the inhabited world is already covered with internet. So that's the ubiquitous uh, presence of internet uh, that has happened over the last 25 years. What made this fundamental change was when World Wide Web came into existence. Before that, internet did exist, but it was not uh, really uh, spreading that fast. You could send emails, you could exchange documents and all that, but that was not something that appealed to the masses. People used it uh, for exchanging information. Businesses used it for exchanging documents and things like that. But uh, the rapid adoption of that uh, resource happened after World Wide Web came. Now that rapid adoption also gave a lot of uh, other advantages. You know, for example, uh, it became cheaper. Okay? The volume uh, became so high that because of economics of scale, it, uh, the price kept coming down, it became more affordable, uh, and uh, in, in some sense it started accelerating the adoption. That was one part. The other part that started happening around the same time as uh, connectivity was uh, increasing, uh, to begin with industries started uh, connecting their equipment to the internet, you know. And so uh, uh, it started a trend of connecting uh, what is called these days, things, you know, which are actually smart devices uh, connected to the internet. You know, so they have, they are smart, so they have a CPU, they, you can have some, uh, some intelligence built into it, in so the software program running in, in it, and they are connected. And they, uh, they serve various purposes. They may be measuring some information, sometimes they may be turning something off, turning something on, uh, they started as very simple devices, but they were smart in some sense, and they were connected. Now, such devices are referred to as things. When, when you hear this term, Internet of Things, it's actually a large collection of such uh, smart devices uh, connected to the Internet. Now, these devices, uh, again, I mean, as they start initially, everything starts as an idea, uh, people realize the potential, and then it starts getting uh, adopted and uh, starts accelerating the adoption, right? So what, uh, what happened by 2008, there were 10 billion such devices connected, right? Now you can imagine the scale, 10 billion such devices connected worldwide. Today, that number has gone to something like 15 billion, okay? And uh, by 2020, that number is estimated to go up to 50 billion devices, right? Uh, so obviously more and more such devices are being uh, connected to the internet and they must be uh, driving enormous value. That's why the adoption is so fast. Now, when I said 50 billion devices, it is uh, probably the lower side of the estimate. You know, that's, uh, that's the number that uh, uh, company I work for uh, uses for its uh, uh, planning purposes and so on. Uh, there are analysts uh, saying up to 150 billion as the number of uh, smart devices that will be connected to internet by uh, 2020. So the point I'm trying to make is it's, the scale is enormous and the money involved, the amount of business it is going to generate is expected to be uh, 7 to 8 trillion US dollars uh, by 2020, between now and 2020. So that's that's the scale of business. Now, there, there, there are several other changes that have taken place, right? Uh, we, uh, we talked about smartphones, okay, being ubiquitous, tablets, smartphones. Um, one very interesting change that has happened uh, in recent times is adoption of social media, right? So it's not only about exchanging information and, and being in touch with your near and dear ones. It's uh, 
it's a place where you go express uh, yourself, you, uh, you share your likes and dislikes, and provide an opportunity to uh, businesses to learn from your likes and dislikes, and influence your likes and dislikes, influence your buying decision, and so on. So it's, uh, it has been uh, influencing all kinds of uh, uh, businesses in different ways, right? Uh, for example, WhatsApp is not just uh, uh, for using uh, personal information. It is used by small and medium businesses everywhere. You go and you find some th something interesting, you take a picture, uh, send it to someone and seek an opinion or uh, uh, find out if they have something similar and so on. So there are business applications of all this already happening. The, I, I told you about Internet of Things, where machines talk to machines, and that has an uh, estimated business uh, capac capacity of about $8 trillion. Now, what is happening uh, uh, these days, in last year, year and a half, the trend has uh, gone on to start combining various technologies. Right? All technologies are combinations of uh, technologies that exist. You build upon the knowledge that is there uh, and create new possibilities. So now the new possibilities that are uh, being created add two more dimensions to what was Internet of Things. And those are uh, machine to people and, and people to people. Machine to person and person to person. And these have existed separately. Machine to machine I talked about already. That is the Internet of Things. Now let me uh, give you an example of person to person. You know, when when you do a video conferencing uh, or any collaborative effort. That is person-to-person -person communication. Now, uh, uh, and the third and most interesting part is machine-to-person communication. And that is something which is also known as uh, big data and analytics. Uh, what has happened in last 10 years? Many changes have happened, and one of the uh, most impactful changes in last 10 years is the fact that we now have the ability to collect enormous amount of data. I mean, you have heard this term, big data. So now we have the capability to collect enormous amounts of data and run analytics through them. So you can, uh, you can collect all the small information, which probably five years ago would have been considered meaningless. But you can now collect enormous amount of that data, run all kinds of uh, uh, search patterns on them and try to draw conclusions, correlate those con con conclusions with other conclusions coming out from completely uh, independent source or a completely independent uh, uh, scenario, and, and then try to see if there is a trend emerging. Now, if you try uh, using data and, and, and analytics uh, along with machine-to-machine -machine communications and person-to-person and -person communications, you create this uh, uh, new new wave of applications that is called Internet of Everything. So let me give you a very small example of uh, retail. So uh, there has been uh, adoption of Internet in every walk of life. Retail is no exception. Uh, there are a uh, lot of shops in India as well as elsewhere where you go and uh, there are uh, RFID tags attached to the uh, to the items you are buying, they have uh, uh, there are cameras mounted. There are maybe the shopping cart that you have, have has a digital uh, weighing machine that uh, uh, knows its weight at any point of time. And the moment there is a change, it uh, transmits its ID along with the current weight. And so, what what happens is as you drop items into the box, an inventory of what you are buying is already built, right? Uh, you d it doesn't have to be once again scanned at the uh, uh, checkout checkout counter. Not only that, it's uh, the price is already computed. Now, of course, at this point of time, you still need to go swipe your credit card or make some kind of payment before uh, you go out. But some places, even that is now getting automated. As you get out of the shop, your credit card already gets charged for the shopping you just did. The door opens and you are out of the shop. Now this is this is all machine to machine communication happening. There is still no machine to person. Now let's uh, let's see if uh, 
uh, we can introduce some machine to person uh, kind of uh, information here. Now, uh, so one, one very good example of machine to person is being uh, location aware and you make use of social media and use the mobile uh, context. Uh, uh, so now if the shop is able to know the person who is uh, looking at some item in the shop, okay, uh, immediately you can do research on that person's uh, behavior on social media. You can find out from Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, uh, maybe all the Google searches that person has done and start looking at uh, uh, what, what has the person been looking for. What, is, he, uh, is he or she likely to buy a TV or, uh, or, or any other item? Now, as you, uh, and this is all happening in real time uh, 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 without the person knowing. I mean, and in, uh, uh, privacy definitely has come down. Anywhere you are immediately identified, if you are carrying a mobile phone uh, that has Wi-Fi uh, in it, the uh, network knows what device came into its, uh, uh, its range. And with that information, you can correlate and uh, figure out a lot about the person who walked into that area. Now, you are, you are standing in front of uh, some item. You have been identified. Now, based on uh, what internet knows about you, uh, you can be given targeted information. Now, it, it may be a multi-brand shop. You have Sony TV, you have Samsung, LG, and so many others. Now, each of them may start sending personalized mobile content uh, to your uh, cell phone or to a display uh, that is uh, near to uh, th their, uh, their item on display to influence your buy decision. So this is machine to person, and you will, you will agree uh, it, it, these kind of changes will make a big difference. Now, person to person, you are in the same shop and you want to do a, uh, uh, you have a couple of questions, right? So, you just uh, get in front of uh, one of the kiosks, press the button, and now you get connected to the uh, real technical expert of the company that is selling that product, not just, just uh, a shop as assistant who has been minimally trained about all the different brands that they have there. You can now have a, a very detailed, informed conversation with the uh, ex technical expert, remote technical expert. So this is, this is person to person. You can, uh, you can ask all kinds of questions, you can get some training, and so on. Now, the estimated size of additional value that machine to person and person to person uh, connections will bring to internet of everything is estimated to be 15 billion dollars over next five years uh, 15 trillion dollars over next five years so that's that's how uh, the opportunity has expanded now <coughs> the, I gave you an example of retail but examples are there in every area anything you can uh, think of agriculture there are examples there are, uh, you must have read stories about uh, uh, wine makers using uh, all kinds of smart sensors to uh, uh, get alerts when the uh, grape is just right to be picked for making a special kind of wine and, uh, and so on. So uh, those were the examples uh, in recent past and there are many more that are being uh, tried out today and it will just continue to grow. There will be hundreds of millions of applications that uh, we will see uh, that involve internet of everything. There is opportunity for everybody in that. You know, it's not, it's not something uh, only for engineers or computer science uh, people or something. In whatever is your domain expertise, you, should, you will be able to find a way of making it better, more profitable, maybe more secure, uh, maybe greener, whatever. I mean, th th this technology, this evolution of internet of everything is going to help you in any, in any branch of engineering, any branch of uh, fine arts, any branch of uh, any discipline that you can conceive of. It's just limited to uh, your imagination. Now, <coughs> this, the, uh, of course, I mean, uh, talking in terms of Indian context, uh, there has been a lot of push. The government in yesterday's budget also, once again, they uh, 
reconfirm uh, their uh, commitment to digital India. Okay, and what is digital India? If you look at uh, the solutions that we are talking about, it's all about uh, Internet of Everything again. Okay, whether it's smart cities or anything uh, that you think of today is going to be an application of Internet of Everything. So it's a uh, it's a revolution taking place. World is not uh, going to be the same. Five years from now, it, it's going to be very, very different. Uh, I think next year, when there is uh, this conference here, the chairs here will be instrumented. And probably, uh, uh, we will have information about who is sitting in which chair. Okay? And uh, if somebody asks a question, maybe name of uh, that speaker will pop up uh, here uh, for the speaker to know who, the, who is asking the question and, and uh, what is that person's background and so on. So that, that's the level of change uh, that uh, we are expecting. Thank you very much.